It's family, what's good? It's your man, Ocean, OMN Network. We back at it. The Freedom Fight continues. Thank you for tuning in to the latest episode. Checking checking to see what we got going on in here tonight. And, you know, the hot topic has been Kyrie Irving for like two weeks now, maybe even three weeks, however long ago, when the, his own team owner decided to put him on blast for it. And he thought it was a, a brilliant idea at the time, and it seemed like a brilliant idea at the time for Joe Sy to put Kyrie on blast. Cause I, I don't know, I don't know exactly what he was thinking. Maybe he was trying to make Kyrie look like, you know, what I'm saying some type of bad person so he can get off of him and without any consequences or whatever. But as the time goes further and further and further, then you know it's being revealed more and more that. Yeah, the people, the rich people, and the team owners, and and the and the team owners, bootlicks or hired help. Yeah, they they came out against Kyrie, and it seemed like that they voice was the loudest at the time. But that was before the streets got a chance to say something how they felt about it. That was before the grassroots got a chance to react. And if you've been noticing anything. Over the past few years, it like even though us at the grassroots, we don't got all the money that the powerful, rich and powerful got, but whenever we come together on the same accord, you know what I'm saying? That that's basically how shit is supposed to be going. Like whatever whatever we come together on on the same accord, for the most part as the grassroots, it's gonna be some changes made, and that's without a vote. You can see it in the recent election. You can see it in the recent elections where, where, you know what I'm saying, it was somewhat of a red wave. And not because we went out and voted red. It's just because we simply said, you know what, we might, we probably going to sit this one out right here. But anyway, that's another, that's a whole nother line of, 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 of thinking that I went down just then. But I said all that to say that we got another yes or boss ass nigga. He's a he's a well known Yessa Boss ass nigga. He ain't no new nigga to the Yessa Boss lineup now. He been he been on his Yessa Boss tour for probably forty or fifty years now. We got none other than the infamous, the bad perm having, funny looking, funny built ass nigga Al Sharpton. He the latest to come out. You know what I'm saying? Call himself at Munishing Kyrie or. Or, or telling, or checking him, telling him what, what that he should have got punished or whatever. He the latest one to come out with the shit. But he's these people be so far away from what the grassroots be thinking, and they gotta be because they get paid to be. But anyway, I'm gonna get into this article right quick, man. It says Al Sharpton, Kyrie. I guess it's saying Al Sharpton said Kyrie's not receiving a lashing. Dot 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 anti Semitism divert deserves consequences. And and this author, who don't deserve no shine, but he kind of writing this shit from a um a hating ass standpoint too. So it is it, I think a couple lines in here kind of cringeworthy or kind of kind of you know what I'm saying. If you on my line of thinking, like you oh, that's some bullshit. But we're gonna read through that to get to the point of Al Sharpton is a yes or boss ass nigga and he out of touch with what's really going on in, you know what I'm saying, for, at the grassroots of thing. He said, Kyrie Irving is facing justified, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Kyrie Irving is facing justified consequences for propagating anti Semitic views. The, despite some in the black community feeling like he's getting the lashing, dot, 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 so suggests Reverend Al Sharpton. So he, he he basically calling himself taking a firm stance against Kyrie and letting his bosses and his paymasters know that anytime you call on me, sir, I will be there for you. I will go out there and wag my finger at each and every one of them niggas personally if they get, a, get out of line with what you said was supposed to be going on. I continue. We got the civil rights leader in NYC Wednesday to speak about the growing sentiment that Kai is being overly punished and had and made an example of by the powers that be in the NBA, even though he's apologized for his controversial comments of late. 
So they even throw it, they got to throw that little of late in there, even though he came out in initially and said, I didn't, I didn't say this. I didn't post that. He didn't say anything. Let's get that straight. I didn't post that to come out and hurt anybody. I posted that to shed light on some things that a few people or a lot of people or everybody might be in the dark if you don't know what's going on with this shit. And just because he shed the light on that don't mean it's 100% right. And you know what I'm saying? He ain't endorsing the whole everything, the whole ideology of that man, but whoever wrote the film or whatever, or no ideology or no anti-Semitic views, he expressing the ideology of we been here for a long time. So don't let them tell you what you are not. And I, I, I commend Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad he's standing up on this shit. Now it says, the Reverend says, people should denounce bigotry no matter what. And that applies to Kyrie too. He says just because African Americans have been subjugated, subject, subject, subjected, I'm sorry, have been subjected to racism and mistreatment historically doesn't mean it's okay to normalize hatred of any other group. And I agree. And you know what I'm saying? We don't hate anybody. The, the, the African Americans don't hate nobody. So Kyrie not expressing hate. He actually. He expressing something the opposite of hate. He really expressing love for his own people. So in a, if I come out and express a sentiment of love to my own person, somebody who, you know what I'm saying, ain't necessarily the recipient of that love, do they supposed to generate hate in their heart? Hate in their heart? I don't think it should. I don't think that's a justified. I don't think that's a justified, you know what I'm saying, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't think that's a, a justified interpreta interpretation of, what, of the point that he was trying to get across. He was trying to get across uh, and trying to, he really trying to keep color out of it and so am I, but he's trying to get across to a people that he see have been tormented over the years. He's trying to get across to you that, man, you a lot more powerful than you think you are. So anytime you see got somebody, that's what the offense is. If you got anybody that's shedding the light, shedding light on, you know what I'm saying, what the struggle of the black man or the power of the black man or anything in a positive light that, that got, got a chance for us to make progress from, serious progress from. If you ever notice anything that can black people can actually make progress from, reparations, everybody oppose it because they don't want us to make progress. And I said, I just set up and said, I just contradicted myself because I said, I don't want to make it about color, but at the end of the day, it, it is black people that's receiving the, the, uh, the blunt, the blunt impact of, of this racism that we see in the world and the, and the, and the, uh, the trauma that come from it for 500 years of that shit. You got to look over your, I when man, I don't, I don't even commit no crime, B. But it, when I see the police, you know what I'm saying that that bring a little like damn, they go to the goddamn police. I don't, and they don't, I don't even commit no crime. It shouldn't be like that. But that come from 500 years of, of you know what I'm saying being subject subject to whatever they tell you that you got to go through, whatever they feel like is is worthy to put you through because you lesser than them. But that's a, that's anyway. Let me get back. Sharpton apparently believes that Kyrie promotions were anti-Semitic, even though he didn't promote it. And he's on the side of those who are calling for accountability. It, of course you are, because they told you what side you was on. They tell you what side to be on, Al. Just like you come out saying some dumb shit. Oh, if you don't vote for... Oh, let me see how I talk to I can't even picture the country nigga voice in my brain. But if, if if you don't vote, there it is. There it well, I caught it. If 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 you don't vote, if you if you don't vote for Stacey Abrams, Stacey Abrams, and you're a black man. You're just an insecure black man. Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Stacey Abrams ain't mentioned black man. Nigga, what is you speaking of? She mentioned on my what? Stacey Abrams been running for governor for twelve goddamn years. She mentioned black man in the last month. Oh, this goddamn term, this election right here, cause she realized she need, she needed something to come save her ass. But at that point, you know, did too much neglecting of not even want to really be associated with her. 
Stacy. And yes, all this shit do tie in together. Cause it's the powers that be working their power. Knowing that if we keep that black, the black generate black people as a whole down, then we can always, you know what I'm saying, keep this advantage that we got over the world. But and but keeping black people down, that start with keeping the black, that's the most important part about keeping black people down, keeping that black man down. But I digress. Even though Kyrie, Kyrie has tried walking it back, some feel it's empty because he implied the Holocaust is simply a cultural issue important to Jews rather than an outright atrocity. I can say that both of those statements are true. It is a, a fucking um I'm gonna say I'm I'm gonna say I'm in opposite order though. It is an outright atrocity. From what I heard about the Holocaust, the death walks and all the other shit, I ain't really heard. I ain't doing. I, I didn't study that shit, but I heard that the Holocaust was fucked up. Whatever we studied in school, whatever we learned about the Holocaust in school, that's all I fucking know about the Holocaust. But from that shit right there, yeah, the Holocaust was fucked up. Now, the, what the other statement he said is simple. I don't. I don't even know if this the movie. I don't know if they just putting this shit on Kyrie or not. Right while I'm reading the article. But the article says, and I'm not going to put this on Kyrie, but this article says that he is implying that the Holocaust is simply a cultural issue that's only important to Jews. And, um, yeah, I think that might be true, too. Because one thing can definitely be true at the same time. So, yeah, that might be true, too. So even if he was implying that, you know what I'm saying, we if we... If everything was on the level that the black man get treated on, who would give a fuck? It didn't happen to me. That's how y'all look at the black man. Oh, slavery, that happened goddamn uh, 900 years ago. No, it wasn't that long ago. It shit was really less than 100 years. We really still in, in slavery. Look how you making these, these black men in the NBA. They got to go out there and sell their whole race out. Yeah, we still, it's, it ain't never really went that far. It just modernized and, you know what I'm saying, you can get away with less of the, less of the just foul ass, crazy ass shit, but you still get away with a good percentage of that. It's still a good percentage of just straight up unadulterated bullshit that you get away with because you done had your foot on this, this whole race neck for so long that it's to be expected now. So we just say, well, the motherfucker, they gonna get away with that shit sometime. No! That ain't how the fuck this shit supposed to go. You do some fucked up shit, you supposed to have some fucked up shit happen to you. Yeah, man. It's a, uh, since then, he's been suspended and has met with the Commissioner Adam Silver, who's Jewish. But the debate about his treatment rages on, especially across racial and cultural lines. Yeah, that's the last that's the end of that story right there, man. So like I like I was saying earlier, before we even got into it, just another yes or boss ass nigga, man. Just doing what he just doing what he do. Just coming coming along to make sure he get his, his biscuits buttered off of this situation that everybody talking about. You know he gonna figure out a way to get his biscuits buttered out of it. Out of anything, anything racial. He gonna figure out a way to get his biscuits buttered off of it, but at the but the point of it is he usually gonna be on the wrong side of the shit. He on the he on the political he on the democratic side he he on the shield side of things. We in out here in the real world we ain't pushing that no more. That's a that's a whole dead subject right there. It's dying. It's down to swift death, and you can, like I said, you can see it from the midterm elections. So just think about it by the time twenty twenty four come around, and Joe Joe Biden really been exposed for, you know, what I'm saying I wish I hadn't even said that name, but the, this whole party, this whole two parties, really, because we already know the right party, the party on the right ain't finna do shit. But niggas need to realize that the party on the left, they probably worse than the party on the right. So when you sit up here talking about you gonna vote uh the lesser of two evils, you still probably fucking up. You still probably fucking up. Ain't no lesser of no two evils. Both of them motherfuckers evil. 
Anyway, this clown ass nigga got me upset a little bit. So I'm gonna go. Not that I'm lying. I'm lying. I ain't upset. This clown ass nigga got me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe just a little bit agitated because he always gonna come. He come. He like still curry with the clown shit. Like curry is on the basketball court. They have Al Sharpton deal with the clown shit. You know what I'm saying? He go, he gonna clown, he gonna be do, he gonna be on the clown shit from long range. Soon as he, he when he step in the building, he in range like Steph Curry. So soon as you see, soon as you see this nigga, put it like this. Soon as you see Steph Curry, and if it was a basketball around and a basketball hoop around, he 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 in his range. He can hit a shot from there, and that's the same shit apply to Al Sharpton when it comes to this clown shit. So. Yeah, there it is. Steph Curry. I mean, say Al Sharpton. It's the Steph Curry of clown ass shit. And that's how I'm going to end it. It's your boy Ocean, man. OMN Network. If you made it this far, I, you please definitely drop a like for your boy. I very much appreciate it. Like, subscribe, share my video. Come back again. We'll do this shit again. And your boy is out.